Welcome to Real Estate Made Easy with Susie Appel. Hi, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Real Estate Made Easy with Susie Appel. My name is Michael Molenhauer. I'm going to be your host today, but the real star of the show is the one, the only, the fabulous Susie Appel. Susie, how are you doing? I'm doing great, Michael. How are you? Let's let's check. Oh my gosh, I'm doing <laughs> great too. This is very exciting. Are you excited to be here today? I'm so excited. How excited are you? Well, my heart's beating out of my chest. How's that? <laughs> well, that's that's pretty exciting. <laughs> You're going to do absolutely great today. Um, I know this is your first podcast, but one of the reasons why we wanted to kick this off is because you guys need to know that Susie is one of the premier residential real estate agents in all of Southern Utah. And uh, Susie, how long have you been in business? I have been in business in St. George for 29 years. Wow. But total 32 years. Wow. Long time. So you started when you were like two or three years old. You, Something like that. That's great. I love real estate as a child. <laughs> <laughs> Your goal was to list and sell somebody's <laughs> dollhouse. That's how you started, right? Exactly. That's really, that's pretty exciting. And I believe this is the only job you've actually ever had. Is that it true? Is. It is my only career. So yes. that means you're definitely a professional at this. I think so. So I, I understand that we want to cover some very specific things today that I think will uh, allow people to learn how to really save time, uh, save money, and actually make more money on their home when they decide to list and sell it. So I know <laughs> that we're going to cover the six things that every seller should know before they sell their home. So what are those six things? Well, the first thing is always curb appeal. The second thing is decluttering your home. That's very important. Cleaning the home, staging the home, using a professional prof photographer, excuse me, and pricing the home correctly. That sounds good. Now, we've got a lot of stuff to cover, to, to cover today. So Susie decided that we're going to break this um, into two separate episodes because we don't want to rush. We want to make sure everything gets covered because all of these things are important. So the first three things that Susie's going to cover today is curb appeal, how to declutter the home and why it's important, and also cleaning the home and why it's important. And I guess that's one of the things that a lot of people seem to forget when they're listening and selling their homes. So those are the things that we're going to cover in this episode. So Susie, why don't you kick things off under curb appeal? Tell us about landscaping <laughs> and why, it, why it's important, why it needs to be pristine. Well, when you think about curb appeal, first impressions matter, right? I mean... That's the first time a buyer drives up to the house. So the landscape is critical because it's the first thing they see. It's the first sense they have of the neighborhood, the whole house itself. So uh, the trimming of the bushes, mowing the lawn. I mean, you can't imagine how many homes I've gone to list and they look like, you know, no one's lived there for years. But, so you you mean I actually have to mow my lawn? <laughs> Oh, Mowing what, the lawn. What a novel concept. Trimming the bushes, pulling the weeds, right? Should I uh, also get the trash out of the driveway and <laughs> those well, kind of things? Most of the time, that's not a problem. Okay, that's good. But um, in this case, we just want to make sure that it is pristine looking. Yes. Not just for the photography, but also the buyers that are going to drive up or drive by the house to check it out firsthand. Yeah, a lot of people don't realize that... Uh, this is all part of the sales process and part of the sales process. The most important thing in selling is the presentation. Exactly. And if you don't make a good presentation, you're not going to close the deal. So the, the, uh, the curb appeal is the presentation and that's probably one of the most important things that um, a home seller needs to remember and take care of. Mm -hmm. So you know, let's say that I'm a home seller and I don't have good curb appeal. Are you going to help me get that squared away? I am. I'm working with the seller right now. Even if it hurts my feelings? <laughs> <laughs> well, I like to try to do it in a way yeah. that, you know, is non-offensive. Okay. Um, it's important to find out a seller's motivation. Right. Because if they're motivated to sell, they're willing to listen 
to what it's going to take to get it sold. Oh, quickly. All right. Well, that so. makes sense. So we're going to trim the bushes and mow the lawn and do all that kind of stuff. Uh, what else are we going to do? What if there's like mud on the stucco? Well, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna look at the house. We're gonna determine: does it need to be painted? Does it need to be clean? Does it need to be you know what? It, we're gonna look at the details of the exterior of the home. We're gonna walk around it. Um, it even gets into like a fresh doormat, painting the door trim, right, of all the exterior doors, right. and then the front door, because. That's the door they're going to walk into, right? right. That's the presentation, yeah. walking into the interior of the home. So all of those, what you would probably consider small things, matter. Um, flower pots, right? Mm -hmm. We want it to feel comfortable and inviting. So that's why that's so important. Oh, that, that's great. I remember when, when we sold um, one of our homes, we actually painted the front door red and... Um, that that was a real talking point because people would drive up and they and they would say they would say oh it's the house with the red door mm -hmm. and the brass kick plate mm -hmm. and they go oh that is so pretty mm -hmm. it's so different than all the other houses in the neighborhood we knew right where yours was and the wife would be talking about the pretty red door and of course the husband could care less but when they were excited it looked good it helped it helped the overall presentation so um, I'm glad to see you've got that on there, with, which is actually paint the door. It doesn't have a bunch of kick marks on it and stuff like that, which, especially if they have small kids, mm -hmm. that's not an unusual thing to have on there. That's really, really good. Is there anything else that we can do to enhance our curb appeal when we're listing our home? Well, uh, drive, cleaning concrete, right? The walkway. Yeah. We want to make sure, sometimes we can't get the oil off the driveway, but we can certainly power wash the concrete. So... All the little things that you may overlook when you live in a home yeah. matter when you're selling the home. Okay, that's cool. So now let's talk about item number two, decluttering the home. Uh, how do we start this? Well, this is a big one. This is a big one. Yeah. <laughs> it's very rare. I walk into a home and it's minimal, minimalized accessories and decor. Most of the time, there's excessive clutter. So... That's where I start. Define my, excessive my clutter. <laughs> <laughs> I want well, specifics here so they know. We Americans tend to want to, you know, collect, let's say. Yes. So it's just, it's very common. We're not hoarders, we're collectors. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Isn't that a nicer word? That is. I, I'm, I'm a and collector. I mean, my, I myself, I have this problem. My my husband and my children will tell you. So. No. I I am one of you, Okay. But in this instance, if I want to sell my house, I start packing. I literally tell my clients, you have to start packing the boxes really? now. Mm -hmm. So like everything or just furniture items or do I pack my clothes and my kids' toys or what it am I packing? It depends on how much you have. So oh. if you are someone who likes clothes and shoes, you look like you might be, um, you might have to store some of your clothes away. Or sell them. Well, I'm, we're going to have to start two months in advance. <laughs> <laughs> so decluttering is so important because if you do not, yeah. the buyer will not stay in the home. They will not look at the home. They get completely mesmerized or stuck in looking at your stuff. And they uh, do not remember the house. Really? Yes. That's a, that's a good point. So they're going... Oh, this lady looks just like Aunt Martha. Uh huh. <laughs> and they walk around the house and they look at the photos of you. That that's another point. You want the buyer to envision them and their own family living in the home. So therefore, we have to remove all personal photographs. Oh my goodness. Yes. What about if we put their personal photographs in the home? <laughs> Wish we could do that. <laughs> which kind of nice comes song. under item four, which would be staging the home. We're going to talk about that <laughs> next time. That's a good idea. Yeah. Well, that's that's pretty clever. So just, just removing any personal items, um, it's really important, as well as things like your, you know, valuables. You know, you want to store those away. You don't want to have to worry about anything like that. Like my, like what, jewelry or collectibles or? Anything that's about uh, prescription drugs, right? Oh. You want to put those away. So these are things that people don't necessarily think about, yeah. but you have to live very differently in your home when you're selling it. 
So if my home is listed for like um, 30, 60, 90 days, I'm going to be living very differently. And it may be painful, but the bottom line is I want to sell my house, right? Exactly. So that's why getting the seller's motivation is key. Because if they're not motivated, then why would they go through this process? Well, that's a that's a good point. You know, speaking of listing time, since I brought it up, um, what's average listing time in the market right now? Well, it's increased over the last six months or so. Um, we are seeing that the average days on market is hovering right around 36 days. Okay, so it's not horrible. No. But if we do these things, we're probably going to experience the benefit of selling the home faster. Exactly. And for, and for more money. If the home, if these items are not handled properly and done, then you're looking at much longer time on market and you're going to be chasing the market downwards. And we'll talk about that. Yeah. All right. That's on cool. On our next show. Uh, anything else I can do to declutter my house? Well, um, let's see. Get some help. If that's not your thing, you know, ask for help. There are companies, businesses out there that actually do this. So Really? Mm -hmm, they can do it for you. I usually make my clients lists to give them a start, a head start on how to do it, what I'm looking to put away first, mm -hmm. right? You still have to live in your home. Right. So it's not like, you know, we're putting everything away. But anything that we don't need at this time, and by the way, you can use your garage as storage. You know, some people think oh, I have to go to the storage, you know, rent space, all of this. No, we can start actually using our garage as storage. Buyers will understand that. You're moving, you know. You know, that's that's actually a really good point. And, and we just experienced that because we just moved like in the past month. And in the process of decluttering our place... <laughs> We use the garage as a storage facility. And when people would come over to look, uh, to preview the property, um, we would tell them, whatever you do, <laughs> don't go in the garage. <laughs> or if you do, understand there's really room for two cars in there, but there's a lot of boxes. And most of the people were pretty cool with it. Mm -hmm. In fact, some of them would start laughing. Oh, my gosh, this looks like our garage. And so but they were pretty cool with it. So we opted not to put the bulk of our stuff into storage facility. Mm -hmm. We put everything in the garage and we just kind of told people and told the realtor, you know, don't be surprised when you look in the garage and everybody seemed to be fine with that. And your house sold, right? It actually did. Yes. There you go. <laughs> Fairly quickly. Sounds like you had a smart realtor. We did. And <laughs> um, thank you very much. Smart realtors of the world. <laughs> <laughs> so is there anything else that we need to do to, um, to declutter the home and make our home less memorable to them and m more um, forward-seeking for them since they're buying it. I don't think so. I think, uh, you know, you just, it's, it's pretty easy <clears throat> to go through your home yeah. and determine what is considered clutter. <clears throat> okay. And if you need help, please yeah. ask your friends or family. They're happy to help you. <laughs> So are you going to go there and clean that? No, never mind. <laughs> no. Well, let's not get into the no. things I've done before. <laughs> oh, but, my gosh. Um. <clears throat> so coming up here is the big one is what you told me, and that is um, cleaning the house, um, why it's important. And uh, I, I know you've probably got some great stories about cleaning the house and why it's important and how just simply having a clean house can either enhance the marketability and make it sell for more money and if it's not clean, it's going to stay on the market longer and sell for less money. Is that true? Very true. So clean the house. So tell us more about that. What are we supposed to clean here? <laughs> Everything. Well, most people have different <laughs> ideas of what clean is, right? Right. I mean, so um, it's very important it's clean. People look in place in all places, Okay, so yeah. don't be surprised if they're opening up uh, cabinet doors and drawers and the refrigerator. Okay, you think, well, that's a refrigerator. Why would they have to open that? They, they do. do. They do. They, they did do. that with me, too. They, yes. oh, they're looking in the and refrigerator. Like, okay. Why are you looking in my refrigerator? Right? Yeah. It's kind of odd, but yeah. that's what they do. Yeah. So knowing that going into the process, clean it. Okay, we have professional cleaners that will come in and do this for you. 
However, if you haven't decluttered first, it makes it really difficult for someone to come in and clean. Right. So things like the baseboards of your home, the walls, the uh, door trim and doors and hardware, those are the first things people see, right? Mm -hmm. So it's so important. I can't tell you how many homes I've been in and it looks clean superficially, right. but as you walk through the home, you're seeing all the fingerprints on the doors and it just, it, you know, you automatically decide, okay, this house really probably isn't as clean as I think so. Yeah. Um, I, I would agree. I remember when we were, when we were showing our place and, and my wife is a fastidious house cleaner. Um, but we're the realtors walking people around and we're just kind of standing there trying mm -hmm. to keep out of everybody's way. But this lady literally went up to a windowsill that was over by the sliding glass door and she, she like ran her hand along the windowsill and looked at it and we thought, oh my gosh, <laughs> my, my wife, she, she's thinking, did I clean that? <laughs> right. But they, I mean, this lady was seriously inspecting the property. I mean, it was a big deal. We ended up hiring a professional uh, house cleaner and um, this lady was amazing. She was, I won't mention everything, but she was from a former Eastern Bloc country. So she was fairly totalitarian in her <laughs> approach. <laughs> you feel clean? Yeah, she's telling the group. So and the place was spotless. So uh, I don't know about you, but I would recommend that you, if you don't have the time or if it's not your thing, uh, hire a hire professional a to yeah. get the thing clean and try to keep it clean while you're showing the house because people, people look at this stuff. They do. Yeah. What else do we need to clean? Oh, uh, let's see. Um, oh, let's talk about carpets, of course. Oh, my gosh. Uh, and yeah. do we have dogs and cats? Most of the time we do. Oh, my gosh. I mean, we love our dogs and cats. We do. and so We kind of go blind when, we, when we're seeing the dog and cat hair laying all over the floor yeah, in the carpet. Yeah, exactly. So we so. should maybe vacuum that stuff up. <laughs> It'll help. <laughs> Yeah. And then oftentimes, uh, of course, we want to clean the carpets, right? Because what right. you're used to living in doesn't necessarily look clean to the buyer. So right. have the carpets clean. Okay. No question. Sometimes we have to re replace the carpets. And that means an investment to get your house sold. However, buyers always, when they walk through homes that they internalize need work, right, will t take thousands of dollars off the purchase price in their head as they walk through the house. Well, they ask for like a, a carpet allowance or yes. something like that, which I've heard. Yeah. So if you need to spend two or $3,000 on carpet, they may use a number of $10,000, mm -hmm. right? So the wise choice is just clean your carpet. And if it needs to be replaced, replace it mm -hmm. because you'll actually make more money when you sell the house. Absolutely. That's a, that's a, a wise and prudent decision. Um, anything else that we need to go through here? What color, what about the walls? Should, so sometimes I've seen houses, so they painted the walls, like the kid's room is blue with some kind of design on it. And then the other kid's room is black because God only knows what that kid's into. <laughs> and then the wife was into purple flowers and yes. nothing is consistent. Is it best just to repaint the inside of your house a neutral color? Absolutely. We need to be neutral when we're selling our homes. I love color. Yeah. Most people love color. <laughs> but when you're selling your home, it doesn't mean you have to go white. It can be a neutral color, right? Yeah. With a little bit of uh, tone or pigment to it, but it needs to be neutral. And the kids' rooms are going to be the same color as the rest of the home. And again, buyers will start adding up the price and taking off yeah. their offer. So, so the, we don't want them to do that. We don't. The trick is to sell it for as fast as you can for the most amount of money possible. That's um, the goal. Well, before we wrap up here, let's just talk a little bit about... Um, what we're going to cover next week uh, on the next episode, we're going to be talking about staging the home, uh, why it's important to use a professional photographer, and how to price your home correctly. Susie, Those are the items. it's been a little slice of heaven. You're uh, definitely filled with a lot of uh, great tips and uh, advice to help people list and sell their home um, quickly and for the most money possible. Um, once again, 
Um, we want to thank Susie Appel, who's an agent with Real Broker, Red Rock Real Estate in St. George. You can visit her online at suzyappel.com. That's S-U-Z-Y-A-P-P-E-L.com. Why don't you tell them what your email address is? Email me at sold at suzyappel.com. Sold at suzyappel.com. My name is Michael. We will see you again next time with another episode of Real Estate Made Easy. This has been Real Estate Made Easy with Susie Appel from Real Broker Red Rock Real Estate. For more information, suzyappel.com. That's S-U-Z-Y-A-P-P-E-L.com. We invite you to join us again for another edition of Real Estate Made Easy with Susie Appel. This has been a production from A Podcast Studio.